Okay, now, for people who probably don't know, you're from Chicago. For sure. Where, whereabouts in Chicago did you grow up? Shit, man, I grew up all around the city, mostly 103rd and Wentworth. I spent time on 61st and Eberhardt. I spent time on, on the low end, for sure. The Wild Hunters. Shit, I even... I was getting into so much shit as a kid, though. My mom had moved us out to the burbs, like in Country Club Hills out there for a little while. But then I ended up going back to the city, though, because, like, trying to get money. I ain't trying to be with the suburban guys too long. You feel me? But I grew up all around the city, bro. But I spent a lot of my time on 103rd and on 61st. You ended up in STL's hood. Oh, hell yeah, because the guys had a crib on 61st and Everhart. You feel me? So, and then that's when all of this shit started taking place because you so, cause uh, around, you, sorry, around what year was this that you were living uh, in their hood? I want to say like 2012, 13, 14, 15. Oh, uh, right in the middle of the war. Hell yeah, bro. Because like TB and Poppy and all of them, like, bro, I used to have a little barbershop. My people had a barbershop on 456 East 61st Street, bro. So, you know, I would always see TB. I would always see Poppy. I would always see, I always, I had seen Duck a lot. I've been in the same studio as Duck because my homie Les, Duck his little brother. That's Ruger's dad, Les. No, no, no. Les. Les got a son called Les. Oh, okay. You feel me? Les got another son called Les. They got the same name. You feel me? Les Weekly. You feel me? So, my homie Les, who I, I was in, I was playing college football. Les was on the basketball team at Joliet Junior College, you feel me? So that was my boy. We had locked in, you feel me? So throughout that time, I always knew Duck was his little brother, you feel me? So so right right down the street from where Chino got killed at, Dirk manager, we had a studio on 80, 84th and East End, walking distance from Stony Sub, where Chino got killed at, you feel me? So... It's been a couple of times where Duck was in that same studio with us. You see what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, I, I knew a lot of them, bro. Like, you know, right after Poppy had got shot the first time, Lonely at Poppy, he comes to the studio limping. You feel me? And he getting into it with the barber and shit. Because the barber had a f***ed up eye. He was start going blind in his eye. He f***ed up Poppy line. Poppy was like, man, you ain't going to be able to cut up here nothing no more if you don't fix my lining. So I ended up lining them up and shit, fixing it up, cleaning that whole situation up. So I used to see them all the time, bro. Like like when that little story about Lil B putting the wig on, popping dude, I'm right. I was on the street that day. Because what had happened that is in walking this like half a block to where we was at. So you would hear little rumors and shit like come in and say, man, he supposed to be they, they top shooter. They talking about TB at the time. So, like, yeah, I'm familiar with all of that, bro. All of them, for sure. What were the rumors about Little B? Did you ever meet him? I definitely met him. Like, okay. Bro, he was a savage, bro. He was a little bit more advanced than a lot of them other guys over there. He was he was on that, bro. Like, the, pol like the police would come to the barbershop and say, like, yeah, if this guy comes over here, we don't want him on this street, you call us immediately type type of activity. He got killed by the police because he wasn't afraid of nothing. He going to get crazy with you for sure. He had put a disguise on, bro. A little short dude, he had put a disguise on, bro. He had dressed like a homeless person and lay on the street to catch you walking past. That's how committed he was to that, bro. That's a fact. That's Damn. a fact. What about Duck? Did you ever hang out with Duck? Or... Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, hold on, let me be careful here. <laughs> let me be careful here right here. Okay, I ain't really trying to. Shout out Duck, bro. Shout out his whole family, bro. You feel me? Um, Duck was always cool, bro. He was a gangster. He was about his business. He was always cool, bro. He, he was a leader for his neighborhood, for his homies, bro. Like, a lot of people was hurt when Duck died. Because Duck was well loved, bro. He was well loved, bro. Like, shout out Big Clout. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people love Duck. Um, yeah, so I don't want to talk about something. Yeah, I'm going to leave that right there alone, right there. We have, oh, next time, I, I'm going to talk to some people. And once I get clearance, then I'll speak on some things that, I, that I've definitely seen.
But shout out Duck, bro. Duck was Duck was solid for sure. But at the same time, that's my homie, little brother. That's my homie. That was that was little less brother, bro. You feel me? So like. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.